I'll fly away. Yes. Amen. That's the way it'll be one day, won't it? Yes. It may not be very long either. It may be my, it may be very well be by night tonight. Yes. Yes. Whether I go by the grave or go by the air. Man, pays to be ready. Pays to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Man, here he is tonight. And we'll be in Luke's Gospel, in Luke chapter 16. Guys, I've changed this on him. Maybe already, I don't know if they're not, but I told them to be. A little bit there, I had another way, but I've changed this. Luke 16. Not I so much as the Lord. I just feel a little more going this way than another way in the text. Luke chapter 16. May the Lord pray. reading with verse 19. And this is simply tonight a familiar passage of Scripture to probably many who have been in the church for a while. Luke 16, verse, reading with verse 19. It says, There was a certain rich man was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. There was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate full of sores and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. And it came to pass the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. In hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father, Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. And besides all this, between us and you there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us, that they would come from thence. Then he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house. For I have five brothers, that, that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Abraham saith unto him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. He said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto the, them from the dead, they will repent. And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, Neither will they be persuaded. The one rose from the dead. Amen. This is a message tonight simply entitled tonight simply is heaven or it's hell. It's heaven tonight or it's hell. Sometimes there is no times. There really is no in between, is there? The Bible says at times that we are either in or you're out. You're either hot or you're cold. If you're lukewarm, I'll spew you out. Amen. But there is no way. It's either yes to Jesus and no to the devil, yes to life, no to death. You make a decision, don't you? You have to make a choice where eternal destiny is. There is many warnings here, and even in the Word of God. This man here, after he had stepped into the afterlife, here he became, he might not have been much of a praying man before, but here he began to pray, didn't he? You know what one of his requests was? To send someone back, he said, to send them back from the dead. But the Lord here, Abraham said, Abraham, the father of faith, began to speak unto him and said, They have Moses and the law. In other words, they have the word of God, he said. And these, he said, he spoke about, that they will not believe, he said. And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded. In other words, if they believe not the word of God, then they certainly will not believe the word of man. The word of God is more powerful tonight than any other thing. Amen. It is sharper. In Hebrews 4.12, it is sharper than a two-edged sword. The word of God. The word of God is life in the power of the word of God. It's 
life changing. Friend, what often sometimes what we really need in this day and age is a word from the Lord. Yeah, you need a word from God. Amen. Yeah. That will speak unto you. You come into the house of God at times and put your feet up under the king's stable, not the feet of all, not the feet of all the material things, but of all the spiritual things. For Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by yeah. every word that proceeded out of my God. Yeah. There is something about the Word of God. It's biblical instruction. It's your instruction before leaving earth. The Bible. Amen. The people at times. We have the Word of the Lord. And yet we have this man, since he did not come back from hell, nor did the Lord ever allow the time God Himself ever sent or anyone from the dead. Only Jesus rose from the dead. And he came back and that ought to be, that was a sign for many of the sign seekers. They saw a sign. And Jesus said, There will be none shall be given. It saved me that of the prophet, even as the prophet Jonah, even as he was three days in the belly of the whale, so shall the Son of Man be. You know Jonah was resurrected. Most folks think he was carried around alive in the belly of the whale. But that's not what the Word of God said. He went down to Sheol. Or he went down to the depths of the sea in his very soul. Water came within his very soul. It's more unique than something else. And God had already prepared a whale and took him on a whale of a ride. And you wouldn't find it strange. And even in this day and age in which we live, if I say a dog bit a man, you would not find it strange. But if I say that a man bit a dog, you find it strange. You might not find it strange when someone would say something like this that they caught when a man would catch a fish. But you might find it strange when a fish catches a man. Amen? But he carried him and God will no sooner he went overboard. God had that whale to come up and take him on the whale of a ride, didn't he? And Jonah was three days in the belly of the whale that he spit him up on the shoreline. And God's word, the word of the Lord, came unto the prophet the second time around and said, Arise, Jonah. The word of God spoke to him, the living, the authoritative word. Sores. 